Hey, what's up guys? It is Dan Lags, and I'm back again for another episode of our Car Let's Builds. And today we're going to be building a monster truck. So this monster truck is going to be loosely based off of the Vapid Sand King XL from GTA 5. So if you play that game, you're probably aware of that vehicle because it's pretty awesome in the game. And um, we're going to build it in Minecraft, obviously, and we got the nice uh, Murica colors. So we're going to be starting to work on it. And uh, this one's built on the wrong side of the road, so we'll go ahead and build on the right side of the road over here. How about that, guys? All right, so first off, I'm going to start off by placing some tires. I'm just going to go ahead and place them with two blocks uh, in between them. I'm using bedrock for the tires. And then what I'm going to do is actually going to place a couple of uh, stone stairs, stone brick stairs, above the tires and then one block ahead of them like this. And then I'm going to place some pillared quartz blocks like that. And then above it, I'm going to place two more pillared quartz blocks, but I'm going to have them facing vertically. So there we go. We got the good start. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place some quartz stairs on the side of the pillared quartz blocks like that. And then from the behind the quartz stair blocks, I'm going to take blue wool back nine blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on both sides. And then we'll just connect them in the back here. Okay, so once we got that, we can go ahead and place some quartz stairs upside down underneath of the last blue wool block. We can place some bedrock, um, bedrock tires. Um, you know, one block below and to the left of the stairs, depending on which side you're looking at it, though. And then we're going to place some anvils underneath of that to represent, you know, the, I guess, the lifted axle or whatever. I don't even know what to call it. But that's what we're going to be doing there. Just kind of make it look like the tires are pretty pretty high off the ground like that. So now what we're going to do is place some quartz stairs like this on both sides. So we can go on, actually, we can actually go underneath this car, which is pretty funny. That's how big it is. And um, then we're going to go ahead and take the quartz stairs and take them all the way back and then turn them again from anvil to anvil like that so it should be a total of six blocks of quartz upside down quartz stairs with the ones curving at the end we'll do that on both sides like that pretty cool and then what we're going to do is place some stone slabs underneath just go ahead and place one along the edge of the bedrock and then you can break it break it and then make sure it's on this like the second level so the upside down just like that and we're gonna do that on the same same thing on the other side is what i'm trying to say just four blocks across like that make sure it's four right in the middle and that is looking pretty good so next thing we're gonna do is get some red wool and we're gonna take it two blocks back like this which looks pretty good and then we're gonna get out some quartz slabs right here and i'm just gonna take three blocks back of quartz slabs make sure they're upside down and just take them three blocks back three by two away from the blue wool just like that so now i'm gonna clear my inventory and get out some new blocks i'm gonna uh get out some carpets i need some red carpets some blue carpets, I need some glass, some glass panes, and we need more quartz slabs. That's a couple things we need. Uh, blue wool we still need, and uh, we'll go from there. Actually, you know what else I still need? I still need anvils, and I still need um, cobblestone walls, and I can also get out tripwire hooks. Okay, so first off with the tripwire hooks, we can place these back here. Those are just going to be like, maybe if you want to like tow a boat or something like that, you can connect it to that. And then I'm going to place some red wool or sorry some red wool carpets underneath on top of the um the slabs we just placed and then i'm going to line this up here with some carpets I'm just going around like this like that and then you want to make sure this is three blocks away from the edge then you can just go ahead and place your anvils on top like this just like that so now i'm going to take a uh you know a two by two square blue wool coming from right next to the anvil like this on both sides you can actually connect it on the top, but we're going to do that later with red wool, as you can see on the old one. I'm going to place some some blue wool right here, just to kind of close off the uh, back of the pickup. And then place some glass there, just as like a rear view mirror. And then we're going to go ahead and place our cobblestone walls on top of the anvil. This is kind of our little like gas escape uh, pipes. All right, cool. Or like, yeah. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is um, we're gonna get out the glass and we're just gonna take it around like this. Just make it look a little U shape. It's like a two by or a two by four square and then you just knock these two out if you wanna do that. In here, we still have an open space that we can fill in with some quartz slabs, just like this. That's looking pretty cool. And then what we wanna do is take the quartz slabs on top as well, go like that. And then we want our carpets. So for the carpets, you wanna place a two by two area right there of red wool. Then you can place the blue ones on top of the blue and then the quartz stair. So we got that. And now you can do the same thing on top of the glass just to kind of continue like the, the theme. 
And then you can just take it across again one more time, kind of sticking out a little bit, just to like, you know, re reflect the sun a little bit. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get back out the red wool. So we still need that. Um, let's see what I don't want to not need anymore. I don't think I need coarse slabs. And we're just gonna take some red wool, just like a two by two like that. Just to, you know, kind of take that stripe and just run it all the way through. I'm gonna place some trip wire hooks on the sides here. just kind of like handles for the door, like a pretend door. And we're almost done, guys. We have the uh, entire thing almost complete. The only other thing we need to do is put a villager in here because that's important. You know what I'm gonna do before I actually put the villager in here? Let me clear my inventory. I'm gonna get a quartz stair out, blue wool, glass, and a villager, villager spawner. I'm gonna place some quartz stairs in here as kind of like a little bench. Place the villager so he can, you know, be driving his beastly truck. And there we go, we got our uh, our grave digger, I guess you could call it. We almost have it finished. Um, I just wanna add a few more things. I'm gonna get out some paintings and some glowstone. What else do I need? Red wool. Uh, I'm gonna place, no, not paintings, what am I thinking? I need signs. I'm gonna place some license plates and then I'm gonna place some item frames, place some red wool on that as like the rear view lights or like the, you know, the brake lights, not rear view lights. I don't know what that means, rear view lights. Um, and then we're gonna place a couple more like this and of course I've hit my max But basically all you have to do is just place a glowstone like that inside of there You can place your signs on top of the lower pillared quartz And then I'm even gonna grab some ladders to place there just to kind of make the grill look even that more badass All right guys, I'm gonna place some buttons on the tires and then we're pretty much done There's a couple variations that I want to show you before we uh, you know close on out of here But I think it's a pretty cool design, you know, it's as you can see it's pretty big, but it looks pretty cool, so hopefully you guys like it. Uh, let me just show you guys some, you know, other variations. You can add glowstone here instead of um, the stairs if you want to actually make it like light up at night, and you can also replace this, these two blocks here for a door if you actually want to enter it, and you can just get rid of the um, the, the core stairs and there's the bench. But I think overall, I think it's pretty cool. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, be sure to click the like button and uh, build this in your world, guys, and add it to your highways and stuff like that. It's a pretty, you know, pretty fun thing to do. You can uh, smash some other cars maybe, but. Uh, <laughs> If they actually moved, that'd be awesome. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna stop rambling. It has been your friendly neighborhood Dan Lines, clearing my inventory. Hope you guys like the design, and um, hope you guys are you guys seem to be liking the uh, vehicles that I've been putting up. So um, thanks for watching all the vehicle tutorial, guys. I think um, you know this one's pretty cool. Hopefully you guys like the other ones as well. And it's been Dan Lines, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're new and click the like button, like I said. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.